Welcome to Break Hard Orchard. We're back on the home side build today. And what we're doing right now is we are backfilling the foundation. Something we probably should have done a while ago. Reason for that is I've got a little bit of a delay while I'm waiting on some supplies to be sent in. I'm gonna be waiting on my SIPS panels and I'm also waiting on the timbers to come in for the timber frame centerpiece. So we're going ahead and backfilling this. My wife's in the tractor picking up a big pile of clay that I put down there when I was digging the foundation out. She's bringing it up to me and I'm hand tamping it in. I'm wishing I had rented a plate compactor because it would have been a lot easier. But I'm tamping it in as we go and we're taking up the level. Started off three bricks down on this side moves up over there it's gonna be easier on that side because there's not near as much to do so we're gonna be taking it up to the top brick and there's a lot to go right here but we've got a good portion of the day left we'll see what we can get accomplished welcome back to break hard orchard i'm looking a little rough today i feel like it i was pretty wore out yesterday after using that hand tamper to try and get this area backfilled we got a little bit more dirt to put over there but we're going to we're changing our attention getting it over on this side because my wife wants to clean up this slope over here one of the things you find when you start doing something like this is you got to tidy up in order to get to places and that's like going down a tunnel you fall down the well and start tidying up this and tidying up that and it turns into a whole bunch of stuff you didn't intend it to do my bride just fired up the tractor. She's getting it moving. Still got some clay down here from when I excavated the build site. She's gonna start bringing that up. And I'm gonna get up on the other side here, above our well. I'm gonna get up there and start bringing down some of that soil that I moved out of the way when I was excavating the area so that they could get the drilling rig up there to put in our well and my wife's trying to capture some of this gravel that we have here that got spread out when they were doing the uh, build so we can bring it down on the roads so we're about to cover it up anyway now well, she'll be on that for a little bit I got to go down here and jump into Daisy and start getting that dirt moved this part is nothing but hard work pull the dirt up and then you tamp it down I really should have rented a plate compactor that would have been a much better idea by the time I got to bed last night I was wrecked I feel like it's so close. what's that close to being done no, close to the edge, like. oh with the tractor Working side by side it has been an opportunity for us to build our communication skills and become closer than we ever were. There's no way for me to see the work that we've done together and to see how hard she has worked by my side and not have built a greater amount of respect for the woman that I married. So you can see where we've tamped down by hand and that's packed in pretty good because I've been doing it in layers of about two to three inches at a time and then tamping it. But the rest of this is fairly loose and since I've got an excavator to use I'm going to come over here and put a fair amount of weight on it and pack it down as well. pretty good wasn't sketch at all not gonna tell Japana she doesn't watch my videos she'll never know
packing and repacking the dirt, spreading a little bit more, packing it down, spreading a little bit more, packing it down. That's really all there is to it, and all the time being careful that you don't do something stupid. Using equipment like this is something that happens every single day on farms and build sites all across the world. People use the equipment that they have to get the job done. And a lot of times, it's just doing it as carefully as you can. Since she had to go get some fuel in the tractor, I took an opportunity to come back through with the excavator and flatten it out a little bit more. And it's looking pretty good. And she's going to keep on bringing the soil here. Now when we started over here at the corner, we were well below that third brick, that third lot. It doesn't seem like we've made a lot of progress, but we've moved a lot of soil in here and we've compacted it as we went. So that'll save us a lot of problems. We've also started getting around here on the front side. Definitely need some more soil around here. Definitely need some rain too. We're hoping to get some rain tonight. The weather's held out for us to get this work done, get a little rain during the week, and then hopefully have a dry weekend to work coming up. Nothing to do but get back to it. I recently had someone ask me when I thought I would be done with the house. I think I'll be done next summer. But they also asked after the question if it was just a labor of love. I smiled and said, no, I'm not trying to do this for the rest of my life. But it is a journey. I don't think they understood what I meant. The best time to plant a tree is 10 years ago. The second best time to plant a tree is today. It would be easy to get frustrated with delays and lose our drive to build the house, but that's like losing your enthusiasm for a trip across the sea when you're halfway there. We have little planning meetings each week to figure out where we want to focus our efforts, and we make adjustments due to the equipment delays, the weather, or any other issue that real life is going to throw at us. And instead of giving up when things don't go the way we want them to, we have found that focusing on the tasks that need to be performed moves us along toward our goal. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy what you see, please go ahead and subscribe. Come on back and check us out again. We'll be posting videos on a weekly basis as we build our own mountain paradise. We'll see you next time at Break Hard Orchard.